That lever does look a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Well, I can. Haha! <laughs> Did you like that? With the drone? Pretty good, right? Wow, look at you. Thank you. Look, if we know anything about Malik, it's that he thinks he's much cleverer than he is. Which means as soon as I start, some drones or something are going to come after me. So just watch my back, all right? Copy that. Ha! Drone bays. I knew it. Oh, come on, Malik. Make it hard, at least. All that big talk and security drones is all you've got, you hack. Oh, I'm Malik, and I think I can analyze Sir's dossiers faster than Bagley, but my idea of heavy security is automated proxy jumping. Please. All right, you ready? I'm in. Lovely jubbly. Really, Malik? Do you really think I'll be fooled by this? Thing, whatever it is, I'm sure it'll work out soon. into the safe house if you don't keep those drones off me. Let's have another go. script over here and voila no no that did not work at all shit i can't hack into the safe house if you don't keep those drones off me let's have another go Obsessed with the brilliant little details and missed the larger structure, did you, Malik? That's actually pretty clever, but not cleverer than me.
message encoded using the same cipher he used earlier, set to repeat every 15 seconds. Good job, everybody. Now we just have to convince Malik to help us get our friend back. Excellent. And thank you. I know this is getting scary, but you're all brave as fuck. I'm proud to call you my friends. Incoming connection from an unknown encrypted source. Malik, patch him through. You had better have a very good reason for threatening me, or this conversation will be very short. Your friend Emma Child nabbed one of our operatives. She's probably asking about you. I see. As it happens, I have been keeping tabs on Emma. But I have a condition. The Semtex is still missing, and if I have any hope of recovering it, I need you to take Emma alive. Yeah, all right. Right then. SIRS uses construction sites to interrogate short-term arrests. They're isolated, and it's easy to hide bodies. And my sources tell me Emma just turned up at one. Yes, and? If your operative hasn't turned already, that's probably where she'll have him. Copy that. The longer your operative is in captivity, the longer Emma has to work on him. Find your friend before they talk, and capture Emma. Good luck. This is the construction site where Malik thinks Emma Child is holding our operative, which checks out. Security is tighter than a rubber glove and a bowling ball. Message received. I have a call from... Strange? This isn't what... Stop! You fucking idiots! Who is this? Emma Child, director of SIRS Counterterrorism. You are making a terrible error here. You cannot... Get off my voice channel! Apologies, everyone. Took a moment to work out how they hacked us. Don't worry about it, Bagley. On the plus side, it seems Malik's lead was good. It's likely she'll keep our operative close to use as leverage. You should find him wherever you find child.
nothing to report. to investigate. I could have left a fucking bomb in there. Do you want to know why I didn't? Reckon you're going to tell me. Because we have something in common. Richard Malik stabbed both of us in the back. Watch. Albion's new policing contract has promised. Everything's set your end. Oh, it will be. 
But first, you're going to tell me what this is really about. All right. I'm infiltrating a terrorist group called DeadSec. I'm setting up a meeting with them, and your men will capture me before DeadSec arrives. So it has to look real. They can't know it's a setup. <sighs> you are a piece of work, Richard. What the hell are you getting out of this? Dead terrorists. I can't prove it yet, but I think Malik was involved in the bombings and the cover-up. What's more, I think he and his conspirators are planning to do it again. That's what he said about you. He would. It's basic tradecraft. Want to sell a lie, weave it into the truth. So we're just supposed to trust you instead? I had something more transactional in mind. I have your operative. Help me kill Malik, and you get them back. That door will unlock in 30 seconds. My head is spinning. Are we saying that Malik is the one leading zero day then? Impossible to say for sure, but it does look that way. We do know for sure that he's trying to set us up for the next attack. You know how I feel, but this is risky. It has to be your call. Let's do it. Even if Malik isn't with zero day, he clearly wants us dead. All right. Then what's our play? If you're seriously asking how to kill Malik, I have ideas. A lot of ideas. We should lure him out and put a bullet in his head. No need for flourish. Yes, that would work, but it's not very much fun. But you want to poison him, at least. We haven't poisoned anybody yet. Thanks, Bagley. But I like the idea of just shooting him. Noted. I'll contact Child and tell her DeadSec has agreed to help. Well, I did it. I actually did it. You wouldn't have been recruited if DeadSec thought you'd be killed that easily. I see. I suppose that's a compliment. Bagley's interpersonal skills take a little bit of getting used to. Good on you, kid. I have Malik for you. Remember you want to convince him to meet you somewhere public so we can install some air cooling in his skull. Right. Let's do it. Do you have Ember Child? No. We have a situation on our hands. We need to meet. What happened? She knew we were coming. I think we've got a leak. Could use your help finding it. Can you meet? Maybe Piccadilly? No, no. Piccadilly's crawling with Albion. How about Trafalgar Square? How does that sound, Bagley? Trafalgar Square is optimal. Good, it's decided. I'll see you soon. He's disconnected. All right, let's talk to Child. It's about time we save our friend. Capital. Yes. What? We're ready to move. Bagley will send you the details. Time to hold up your end of the deal. Where's our friend? You can have them when Richard is dead. No. You return them now or we walk. Non-negotiable. Fine. As a show of trust, I'll order a hot drop at a random location. I will not, however, waste anyone covering them. So get there fast if you want them back in one piece.
their our missing friend. Uncuff them and send them back to the safe house. You're right. I'm fine, although Emma Charge should consider hiring an interior decorator. See you at the safe house. Fucking excellent. Splendid. As soon as they return, I'll be sure to issue them a pair of fresh underpants. Now, let's get someone over to Trafalgar Square. Agreed. Time to end this. I can see you. Let's go over the plan. The Canadians loaned me an office across the square, so I can keep an eye on you. God bless the Commonwealth. So, here's what's going to happen. There are four snipers covering the angles. Here, 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 and here. Your job is to locate Malik. And when you're sure it's him, scratch your eyebrow. That confirms the target. Then count to two and duck. Yeah, and then you put a bullet in me too. Is that how this goes? I've seen what you people are capable of when you're pissed off. If you don't fuck with me, I won't fuck with you. How does that sound? Agreed. Fire team leader, report. No sign of Malik, Mum. Nice clear shot in this dead sick prick, though. Don't tempt me. Fuck. Where the hell is he? I don't like this. I really don't. I don't like it either. Shit. I don't have a filament terminal in here. I'll have to request one. Bear with me. This will take a while. Bagley, could use some help. Oh, if only every person in London was required to wear a piece of high-tech surveillance equipment. Start hacking optics and I'll see if any of them caught sight of Malik. Copy that. I'll scrub their body cam memory to see if it got a look at Malik. That's him by the litter bin. He's either leaving a dead drop or trying to heat out on the cheap. What is going on? Fuck. Malik may be doing his laundry. It's a technique for losing a surveillance team. If so... That dead drop has a second meeting location in it. Is our cover blown? I don't think so. He'd vanish if he thought there was a real threat. I'll put the shooters on standby while we readjust. Not seeing any relevant video or photographs. Keep looking. Searching data exhaust. Nothing. Try someone else. GPS data indicates this person wasn't in the area during the relevant period. Try again. Going on. Did you really think I could be outsmarted by Nigel Bloody Cass? <laughs> he recorded that meeting because I wanted him to. It got to Emma Child because I wanted it to. And now law enforcement has full profiles on all of you. If you want to live, get on the ground and put your hands on your head. I think you've mistaken me for a coward. No, no, you, you misunderstand. I meant so the shrapnel doesn't hit you.
seeing the same thing, Bagley. Do you know what's happening? It seems Malik wasn't bluffing. Your faces are all over the news, and not in a cool way. Damn it. Bagley, rally everyone to the safe house. We need to debrief. This is a message for DedSec. I believe Richard Malik is about to murder me in some gruesome way. If you see Malik, tell him I'm... Canada House was destroyed by a series of explosions, and an individual known to be part of the DedSec organization was seen on CCTV attempting to flee the area. SIRS new director of counterterrorism, Richard Malik, issued the following statement. I call upon my counterparts around the world to treat the dead sec threat with all due vigilance. They are not a resistance. But what are they resisting? They are an international terrorist militia. And along with my counterparts in the Five Eyes Nations, I am building and you get the idea, you're fucked. They're gunning for us out there. We have to deal with him. Yes, I wouldn't recommend that. All scenarios show DedSec's odds of survival approaching zero before he can be found. Malik probably worked out the same thing. Yeah, some of us had an idea about that. Go ahead, Bagley. Done. The working theory is this. Blowing up a government building like Canada House would require bribes, an infiltration team, materiel, and so on. Doing it without leaving a paper trail would be impossible. Some of you nicknamed this paper trail the Malik Dossier. We're going to break into SRS headquarters, steal it, and prove Malik was behind the bombing. If we're lucky, we might even find some details on Zero Day. Your missions list has been updated. Hey, one more thing. I know Malik's currently our best lead on Zero Day and the bombings, but he's fucking dangerous. If you see him, don't try to take him alive. It's not worth it. On the contrary, I think what Malik knows about Zero Day and the bombings outweighs the well-being of any individual operative. Malik ought to be taken alive and interrogated. All right. This is a bad one. Someone in 404 sent me a text file. Dead sex international safe houses have been compromised. Does the name Heat Bolton mean anything to you? No. Didn't think so. Bolton was a small-time player with Dead Sec Houston until he ratted out the whole cell and fled the country. Now he's in London, and he's willing to sell all of Dead Sec's secrets to the highest bidder. You fucking kidding me? Yeah, I know. Being associated with Dead Sec's been good for my brand, and I don't want that getting fucked. I'll send you this text file. The rest is up to you. The American State Department keeps tabs on all their citizens abroad. If you want to find Heath Bolton, hack the CTOS hub at the American Embassy, and I can use their records to track him down. Thank you, sir.
You're it. Ready to go? Always. I found a potential recruit for you. Drop in a pin on your map. Public approval of search. Shot up today following counter-terror director Malik's statement that the Five Eyes nations will execute a coordinated global response to the DedSec threat. Mr. Malik, what is the service doing to protect the people of Britain right now? Well, we're aiming a little higher than just Britain. Soon we can know if anyone in any CTS-using country in the world so much as utters the word DedSec. Thank you. SIRS advises citizens that positive discussions of the DedSec terrorist organization or their actions may result in investigation. SIRS counter-terror director Malik personally oversaw an investigation that uncovered the true identities of every operative in DedSec's London cell. I'm here. What's our target? We're here to find some documents we're calling the Malik dossier. Basically, it's the paper trail that proves Malik was behind the Canada House bombings. Problem is, these documents won't be on one computer. They'll be on dozens, scattered across the country. What are we supposed to do? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Let's have Malik take it. Surge uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government, or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom instantly. Wow, look at you. Break in and connect Bagley to a Filament administrative terminal. He'll do the rest. As usual. In order to access the filament admin terminal from your optic interface, you'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry. Channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their MO. What are you talking about? I want DedSec gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. You really expect us to join you, sick fucks? Zero day? No, I mean sirs. You've practically been working for me anyway. And besides, we have a lot in common. We both use violence and manipulation to shape London into something better. The only difference is I know what I want it to be. Strong, stable, unified, safe. 
This is what I value. What about you? You're such a fucking hypocrite, you don't even know it. Fine. If we can't convince each other, then I suppose <gasps> killing will have to do. Ugh. That central server is Filament's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. been locked out. Oh, and it seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. Say again. Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. Suggestions? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. Drones down, server room unlocked, and buggery fuck, Malik has locked me out. He must have a hard line to the server. Suggestions? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion, but Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. Unplug it and plug it back in. Copy that. Close enough.
something about this drone. It can't seem to take a fucking hint. Stupid drone, this isn't a picnic and I haven't got any jam. Would you look at this? A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to one Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. Could you shoot this drone down? I'd ask it politely to go away, but I'm afraid I don't speak dick shit. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bombs were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny, that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I try to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable that motion sick. This microwave drone has been hanging around so long I've given her a name. I'd like you to meet Ada. Would you mind killing her? Fuck her off, you clinging little bastard. No, I am not your new daddy. Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report for two SRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the Secretary. This microwave drone is starting to be a real problem over here. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail? And that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favour to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. Here, straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case hard on all these little side ops you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doctor. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central core to complete the cycle. Nice work, Bagley. Now let's get this scheming little rat. With pleasure. integrated with filament, and it seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. Do it. All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right, wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh look, seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh no, it worked. Oi, what the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck! 
Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly under pressure. What now? I sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the GBB to the Aberyst with Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear dead sex lane. At least for this particular thing. And Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. Can someone explain why we aren't having that car drive straight into the river? Believe me, I'd love to, but he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane! Robot, slow down! Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. We already know you bombed the embassy, Malik. And you were involved in the earlier bombings, too. Now's your chance to confess. The earlier bombings? What are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank. Even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power. And fast. But you already knew about Zero Day. I'm a spy. So yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Listen to me, Malik. The truth will come out. And you will stay in here to rot. So oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. We won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are. Dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. What's good, Chief? I'm sorry for not being at IRL, but there's no way I'm coming out of my hidey hole. But I'll keep an encrypted connection open to your safe house. I was having a chat with your mate, Richard Malik, Just a former SIRS agent and a former Albion drone talking shop. Anyway, he pointed me to this audio recording. You should give it a listen. Could be something big. Let's hear it. And when you got a moment, Give Malik a smack across the chops for me, will you? What the hell do you mean there's no open investigation? Are you the police or not? We are. And I mean it exactly the way it sounds. My friend was a journalist. She was working on a story about sirs kidnapping people off the street, and then she goes missing. You don't find that the slightest bit suspicious? Look, 
The decision not to investigate happened way, way over my pay grade. Do you understand? Way over. You're fucking in on it! Jesus Christ! I'm hanging up. And I'm recording this. The journalist mentioned in that call seems to have run afoul of SIRS. And seeing as they've taken 1984 letters a dire warning and more as an instruction book, she may be in trouble. She needs our assistance. For real. Let's do it. I've marked her last known location on your map. You should hurry, though. It was dated recently enough that SIRS might not have caught up with her yet.